Barcelona are set to turn things around with the signings that they've made this winter. These signings are definitely going to help the Catalan giants have a better second half of the campaign. Chelsea actually made a move for Ousmane Dembele, but it didn't work out, at least we think. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has finally gone from Arsenal. Hugo Ekitiki was hotly linked with a move to Newcastle United, but decided to decline the proposal. And Tottenham's transfer window activity is going very well, and this has to be discussed. Unfortunately, we also have to touch upon the Mason Greenwood story. More about that later. So everyone, sit back, subscribe and turn on your notifications as we give you your daily dose of all things football. While Rams and Newcastle had agreed on a deal and were finalising the details of a transfer, Ugo Ekitiki declined the English club's proposal, wishing to end the season with his current team. Things were going well with Newcastle interested in bringing him to England. The English club had raised their offer and were meeting the requirements set by the Rams leaders, who had not yet planned to sell their young player in January. Faced with an offer from the Magpies that was substantial, the situation had evolved positively and both parties were optimistic to finalise the deal. According to our information, Rams had even already started thinking about ways to replace him by midnight of the last hour of the January transfer window. But now, as explained by L'Equipe and as we can confirm, the young striker does not wish, for the time being at least, to join Newcastle. Firstly, because he wants to continue his journey with his current club and complete a full season in Ligue 1. Then, because the Newcastle Sports Project, which is fighting for survival at present, doesn't particularly delight him. Stade Rams will therefore get to keep their star performer until the end of the season, which is good news from a sporting point of view. In good financial health, the Rams club did not necessarily need a big influx of money. It remains to be seen whether Newcastle will return to the case next summer if they remain in the Premier League. Frustrated in many ways this winter, Tottenham still managed to complete the signing of Dejan Kulishevsky, the transfer window of all sorts of frustration. Tottenham, looking for an offensive element, had long hoped for the arrival of Adama Traore or Luis Diaz. Sadly, the first left Wolverhampton on loan to join Barcelona, and as for the second, he joined Liverpool from FC Porto. To satisfy the demanding Antonio Conte, Fabio Paratici, the sports director of Spurs, therefore had to fall back on emergency signings, and he exploited a vein that he knows well, looking on the side of his former employers, Juventus, in search of fresh money to finance the big coup of Dusan Blahovic. And this is how he managed to bring in the Swedish international Dejan Kulishevsky. The Swedish international winger was a revelation at Parma during the 2019-20 season and comes to England in the form of an 18-month paid loan with an obligatory purchase option of about €40 million. Euros. The youngster's status at Turin has changed drastically. With only five starts in the Serie A under Massimiliano Allegri, he's now hoping to revive his career. Newcastle continued to shop. On Monday, the Magpies formalised a loan deal for 26-year-old Matt Target, who arrives from Aston Villa until the end of the season. The English left-back, who had seen Luca Digne land at his post this winter at Villa Park, will now reinforce a very fragile defensive sector. Target will wear the number 13 with Newcastle. This is the Tyneside's fourth winter signing after Kieran Trippier, Chris Wood and Bruno Guimaraes. I'm delighted to be here. I can't wait to get started and meet all the fans and hope we can have a successful end to the season. My family has friends here and they always said it's a soccer crazy city. So to experience it and be a part of it, I really can't wait to be there, the player said during his official unveiling. Usman Dembele is a regular at last minute attempts. Remember in 2019 when FC Barcelona did everything possible to recover Neymar and wanted to include Dembele in the deal to convince PSG despite the player's reluctance? Well, it starts again this winter for the French international. But the situation is quite different, since things have gotten worse with Barca for a few weeks. At present, no contract extension is on the horizon, but there have been many discussions with several clubs, including Paris Saint-Germain. On Sunday, it was widely believed that an agreement had been reached between Dembele and the runaway league leaders. However, the Parisians have not agreed on the terms, which left the road open for other teams to pounce. One of the teams happens to be Chelsea, who contacted Barca over an unlikely move right when the transfer window was about to shut. While there isn't much optimism for a deal to be done by midnight, it shows there is a lot of interest in Dembele. We mentioned the interest of Chelsea last December, in particular because of the presence of Thomas Tuchel on the sidelines, a coach who had been able to get the best out of the Frenchman. Will Chelsea be able to overtake everyone on the wire in just a few hours? Well, it did not happen. 
It is a story that's caused a lot of panic in England and on social media. Manchester United striker Mason Greenwood has just been accused by his girlfriend of domestic abuse and sexual abuse, a case that risks seriously damaging his image and career. His companion has revealed chilling photos and audio on Instagram. The English striker's companion has posted pictures of her with her mouth bleeding and her body covered in bruises. Worse still, terrifying audios of Greenwood. The audios, of course, cannot be shared here. In fact, Manchester United have pretty much ended all association with the player, and most of his teammates have already unfollowed him on various social media platforms. Okay then, to be very honest here, Barcelona have had quite the rough ride in the last few months. From losing the services of their all-time leading goalscorer to managerial changes to financial disaster, the Catalans have been through a lot. The arrival of Xavi was the first indication that the club was trying to change its ways. Under Joan Laporta, the club is definitely heading towards a different direction, even if currently they're still struggling. The arrival of Ferran Torres from Manchester City was a move that no one saw coming, given the Spanish side's well-documented financial issues. But since then, their transfer business has been really good. In need of a spark and something different, the Spaniards decided to sign Adama Traore from Wolves. The Spanish international spent his formative years learning at the Masia, so it was no surprise that he would have jumped at the chance of returning to Camp Nou. Traore returns to Catalonia as a 26-year-old player who should now be heading towards his peak form. Of course, he's been plagued by inconsistency, but with the talent and power he possesses, the pacey winger is definitely going to be a huge success. And then there's the case of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Another twist was on the cards for Aubameyang. This time, however, it turned out to be the last of his career at Arsenal, much to the delight of the Barcelona supporters and perhaps also for those of the Gunners. The British press, Sky Sports in particular, confirmed that Arsenal and the Blaugrana have reached an agreement for the transfer of the 32-year-old striker. Sky assured that it was a permanent transfer to Catalonia and not a loan with the option of an additional season. In this case, Arsenal thus terminated the contract of the Gabonese international, which will allow Mikel Arteta's side to save nearly 30 million euros by the summer of 2023, the date of the end of the enormous current contract that the player was living on. Negotiations had been going on talking over Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's salary in the last few hours of the transfer window, but then the two clubs found a solution that made everyone happy. Sky Sports also specify that the player himself has made a major financial decision to join Barca, who are already in the red zone financially and with limited room for manoeuvring. The fallen captain of Arsenal will now be able to undergo his medical examination prior to the signing of his contract with the Blaugrana. Once this transfer is formalised, it will effectively end one of the most boiling soap operas of recent months. It remains to be seen whether Aubameyang will be replaced numerically by the London Giants, who were definitely going to make a move for a striker in the summer transfer window. Regardless, the move clearly shows that Barcelona are working towards having a better second half of the campaign. They might not be winning the league title this time around, but at least they now have a very good mixture of youth and experience to finish the season on the podium.